Hi. Hi everyone. Hello. I'm Tim, and I'm going to play Wingspan. <laughs> I did say I would. Actually, I didn't say I said I'll do something streaming today, so I'm going to stream Wingspan. Um, so hello. Hello Maria, I see you in chat. Hello everyone who's watching or whatever. Um, so, first off, today is officially the first day that I'm unemployed. <laughs> um, for those that don't know, I've had... Hey Holly! I see you. Lurking. So, for those that don't know, I've had a series to do with life over the last couple of months. Literally last couple of months. Last month. Two months. Well, it's three months. Two months now because it's October. Happy October, everyone. So, yeah. Things have happened, but I'm going to relax today and play Wingspan. So, Wingspan is one of those very, very rare things that it's actually a board game that's been built well for virtual stuff. So, uh, Wingspan is from Stone My Games, um, where basically you collect and play birds. That's basically it. You collect birds, you feed birds, you lay eggs, you get points. It is literally a game for the ornithologist in you. Like, uh, I played this a bit, and here are some of... It's not doing that. That's not good. Hmm. Interesting. What if... I'm just going to quickly do something on the fly, because that seems to have not done what I wanted it to do. Okay, let's try. I'm just fixing things on the fly. That's good. Okay. No. Uh, let's put that there. The things you do when you don't think you know what you need to do, but you do anyway. So, let's remove that. Yeah. So, hopefully now, you can see what's happening. That's better. That's better we can see what we're doing. Um, so as you can see, you basically collect various different kinds of birds, and you play different kinds of birds to do things with birds. Um, I've played this a bit already. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Um, it's relaxing. The music's really relaxing in this game. So, yeah, you basically collect birds, play birds, and it is really relaxing, this music. Like... I've played this with a few people, with, a, with people we played board games with, and they introduced us to Wingspan originally, and I really loved it. It's a... Uh, I like mechanically crunchy games, I'm realising, like Scythe. Um, this is from the, guys, the guy that made Scythe, um, but different direct... It, he's the, company, the, guy, the guy that made Scythe runs the company that made Wingspan, and it's just so relaxing. And every time you play a bird in this game, uh, it gives you a description of the bird as well, which is hilarious. So, uh, you can play online with other people. I've had very mixed experience, um, where I've had games where people just drop out halfway through, and then you're basically forced to play offline, uh, or it yeah, actually goes really quickly. So, I'm going to try and just do a normal game. Uh, you can do custom game, let's have the hardest difficulty for all the AI. I'm going to be this bird. Uh, I don't know what bird it is. Looks like a kingfisher of some kind. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the game, basically, each round that you play has different goals. Actually, I'll get to the main page and show you. So, one, well, this is just beautiful. I can't understate, understate how beautiful this game is. Like, seriously. So, basically, as you see on the left, uh, on your turn, you take one of four actions. You play a bird, you gain food from the forest, you lay eggs, or you draw birds from the wetlands, which is really nice. Um, they do it in four rounds, so you have, which is up here, well, actually, you can see, you have four rounds and different turns. Awesome sauce, Maria! Awesome sauce! So, effectively, you see the little cubes here, you get progressively less and less cubes as you go along, so you have, like, there you go. Yeah, is, is you, so you have less turns to do what you need to do, but it kind of makes sense with the um, with the gameplay loop. Like, at the start of the game, it's very slow, but at the end of the game, you've got your mechanism in place to gain eggs, gain birds, gain food, so you need less turns, because you have more actions. Because different birds get different actions. Um, some birds are worth more points, but have less actions, and some are worth 
less points per have or powerful abilities. Um, but at the end of every round, you gain bonus points based on the goal for the round. So the goal for the first round is how many eggs are on birds in nests. The next one is the one I can't win. I've never won it. Uh, you... What was the description here say? One set of eggs consisted of one egg in a wetland, one egg in a grassland, and one egg in a forest row. Count the number of sets. I've tried that. I've never won it. Uh, this one is the total number of birds with a specific nest type to have at least one egg. Each bird counts once. So that one is how many eggs are in a cup nest. And then the last one, how many eggs are in the grasslands. So at the start of the round, you have uh, five things. So you can choose any number of birds and one of each type of food. So there's berries, fish, grub, uh, uh, rats, and grain. Um, and then the birds appear. Uh, you also have a bonus card, which gives you bonus points on stuff. So this one is I can have birds that eat fish and any other kind. And if I have three of the birds that do it, I get three points. Four plus I get eight points. Or birds that eat any kind of food uh, as part of the cost to buy the bird two bird points so looking back here if I wanted to gain the omnivore expert it would be good to go with the common merganza first because I get five points and it gets me two points straight away from that um, yeah but obviously looking at all the birds here none of them are very easy to play straight away apart from the cerulean wobbler actually and none of them are actually really good for yeah, it's a weird one. Uh, let's just go with Cerulean Warbler. Common Megans with that one. And get that. And then I'll just get the... Let's go with Fish. Why not? You ordered me... You, you ordered us Advent Calendars! Holly! <laughs> no! I'll tell Shelby when she is finished. But okay, so first round. Um, so as you see, it's a very beautiful backdrop. The top, the grasslands, you can gain food from the thingy over here. Uh, if you play a bird in the in the what do they call it here? What do they? What do they actually call it? I just do like forest, grasslands, and woodlands, waters. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, definitely Del Shelby when she comes out. <laughs> um, so, woodlands, you gain food, which helps you play birds. Uh, as you get, as you can see, you got five slots to play birds in. For every slot after your first slot, you need to pay an egg or two eggs per bird. So you need to lay eggs to get play birds, and that one you need you need birds to play, so this is one you need the birds from. So it works. Um, I can't play any birds here, I can't play any birds here, I can play a bird here. Hey, Holly's ordered us um, Green Leaf Geek Advent Adventure Calendars. <gasps> no way! Yeah. Oh Do you want to try some tea? No. Okay. I mean, I'll try it, but it, I'm gonna. You're not gonna like it, it's tea. Okay, so I'm gonna play my. Epic Calendar! <laughs> I'm gonna play my Cerulean. I've, I've, have I played this before? Cerulean Warbler. Between 1966 and 2015, this species lost 74% of its population. Oh, that's depressing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's depressing. So every time you play a bird in this game, if you haven't, pl if you haven't played it before, it tells you a bit about the bird. Uh, I think I changed the settings that... Oh yes, I'm going to take that one. Yes! Also, helpful, this is like in the real life game. At the bottom of the bottom of the bonus cards, it tells you how many of the cards in the game qualify for that. Which is really helpful. Yeah, I like it. So, it's that one. I'm going to do that one. So yeah, I've played a bird. That's good. Also, I found my other... You should learn that. That will be. <laughs> See, round two. What do we do? Uh, what can I do? I can do nothing. 
So I could either draw a bird that I know I'm going to need later on, or I gain food or something else. So I have no bird that can get the nest qualification. So I can't do... I'm going to fail the first round anyway. So I'm going to take my losses and get the grey catbird. Which cost me a lot to play, but I can repeat I can repeat a brown power bird in the habit habitat. So like So I'll see what I can do. So so far I've got a bird that here that when it's played, that's it has an ability, that's it, it's done. Um, I've the common Merganza bird, um, when I activate its brown power, I can roll all the dice not in the bird feeder and get fish and place it on this card, which gets me extra points at the end of the game. Uh, the Chimney Swift is a fun one because it can move around habitats, which is really nice. Um, so, for example, I can play it in the water and then I can move it, use its ability to move up to here, and then I can get access to this one without paying eggs. So it's quite a good ability. The Catbird just repeats a brown one. So if I've got the Merganza and then I have the Catbird in the same one, the Catbird repeats the Merganza so I can do it twice. Which is just, it's just nice, it's nice. You know what? That chickadee looks really nice. And I'll grab that chickadee. So yeah, that's, that's the space of the game. It's really nice, really relaxing. Um, I can't understate how relaxing this game is. Um, especially when you go, oh, birds also do that as well. So now, if I wanted to, I can't because I don't have any eggs. Um, you know what, I'm gonna grab that mallard with that as well. There's also some achievements they've added to the Steam version, um, which are really nice. Um, they're very difficult as well. There's one where you have to play a total bird amount of 60. Speaking as a guy that's played this a bit, it's very difficult to get 60 points on just birds. Like, because like you get some of them, like Mallard, for example, has zero, has a zero score. But you can play it. So you basically need a load of like five scoring birds just to get anywhere close to 60 straight away. Oh, I gain one from the supply. Oh, I gain one from. I got a peregrine falcon! Yay! Uh, so I'll go here, for example. So. Um, which birds do I draw? Uh, I want a nest, I haven't got a nest. Yes, hooded warbler! And I can move this one up to. Here. So now I can get access to two feed next time. Fun. Although, yeah, so it's good. I like this game. It's very relaxing. I've said that a lot. But I kind of need to be a bit relaxed today because today has been a day. Um, so, like I said on Twitter yesterday, we filed all the paperwork yesterday for me to start the process of becoming a legal person in the US. Uh, which was, so I'm legal right now. We've put the application papers in, so just to confirm everything that I am very much legal. So, yeah. Um, so that's all good. I have a message from. <laughs> okay, right, uh, what can I do now? Can I play any birds? No, I can't. Right, let's get into what's in the feed. Okay, what birds do I want to play? So, my warbler, I can play in the green, and that gets me two grubs. Falcon, I need to do that. So, when you're playing birds, take the American bitter and bitter, bitter, um, here, for example. You need to have a fish, a grub, and a rodent to play it. Um, however, you if you don't have one of them, you can replace it for two of another. So for example, if I had 
If I didn't have a fish, but I had two corn, I could play two corn for one fish, for example. Um, what do I want to do? Wow, the whooping crane's quite nice, actually. Um, I need food. I'm actually, I need eggs. Let's do food, and then I can get eggs. Let's get... Let's start getting a lot of grubs. I need a lot of grubs. And then let's move you down to here so I can start laying eggs. Because I kind of need to start laying eggs at some point. It's a really... The early game is really slow, actually. Yeah, I didn't get any bonus points. That's fine. That normally screws me over. So, start of a new round. So, the food... Wow, the birds have completely changed in here. That's really good. I'm getting that warbler. Uh, let's get one from that. Ooh, the Eastern Street Chow. Um, yeah, it's a good game. But the start of every, the start of every round, they completely refresh all the birds down here. Um, oh, I might have screwed myself over already. Damn. Yeah, I might have done it already. Okay, let's do... Click birds to lay on. Two eggs there. And let's move you down to the water, because I might need to do that next round. Actually, I will need to do that next round, because I need to start gaining birds and eggs from places. Um, yes. I want to get my pine sing skin, and I want to get the blue jay. I'm going to move you to the eggs, and I'm going to get some from that. Yes! i got a push tit. Ha 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 ha. Um. Ooh, Anna's Hummingbird. So. Okay, what can I do? Okay, what can I play here? Let's play that warbler there, and spend an egg from there. And then next round, I'll play my... Screech Owl, I think. Maybe. Now, actually, do I want to play my Screech Owl? Do I want to do that? Yeah, I want to play my Screech Owl. Well, I can. Uh... Yeah, let's play the Screech Owl. start laying eggs, because I need to start laying eggs to get the next round ready. I also need to start laying birds in the green, in the forest, with more egg capacity, so I can get the last two rounds done. I unhelpfully... So, birds with stars, they're any kind of type, so I can play my bush tip in the green, and it'll count for my scoring, which is just helpful. Uh, let's put two there because it doesn't matter, and let's move you there so I can use you next time and move you down and I can get free lots of food. So I'm doing burbs. I'm about to lose a second round. Um, I gotta say, if you oh, someone played Anna's Hummingbird. Yes, yes. So I got it right. Ha ha ha. So I would fully recommend, by the way, um, if you if you like playing Steam games, get this on Steam. I mean, for the soundtrack alone, it's just relaxing. Um, 
If you can play this in real life, though, get it in real life. Like, Wingspan as a board game is... Stone My Games, in general, I think have some of the best looking board games with the easiest mechanics. Um, and it's just so relaxing. But the, ga the games themselves are really beautiful, really easy to follow. They're not mechanically broken, and the Wingspan board game has an expansion, which has more European birds. Um, and it's got another one coming out later this year where they have Australian birds, which take up two slots, supposedly. Um, right. I need to play... Let's play a bush tit. Oh boy, let's... Yeah, let's let's change that to grain. Oh, I need to play two grain. Uh, that will do. That will do it. I need to start laying eggs. I'm gonna keep talking to myself and say I need to start playing la laying eggs and not actually lay eggs. I actually need to start playing some of my bonus point cards as well because I'm not getting any further with the eggs as long as I should be. Nope, let's not do that. Let's do... Let's lay some eggs. And let's move you up here so I can get a lot of food next time so I can play more eggs and more birds. I'm just start playing cards down here. Ugh. So I have a common loon, which might get me stuff. Yeah, let's play the common loon there and remove an egg from here. Common loon. Loon chicks spend the majority of their first week of life riding on a parent's back. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> I mean, oh, they've got the baby bird on the back of it. Just ah. Oh. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, okay, right. All we'll game one of the supply, in the one from the deck. This is actually really good. Okay. Do I wanna I wanna play the snow egret there? Yes I do. Yes I do! Oh. I have actually screwed myself over. I have screwed myself over. I do not have. I won't have enough eggs to get the bonus for this round. Okay. Bugger, 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 bugger. Okay. Yeah. That's helpful for people. Uh, okay. Well, it's just, it's just per egg, so let's do one there, one there. And that might help for now, maybe? If I move the Chimney Swift down next round, that might help me out as well. Hopefully. I gotta say, when I've played this, I've played this a lot recently. Okay, yeah. Alright, okay. Playing this a lot has been very helpful. But it also means you do find out very quickly ways to screw yourself over. Let's move you down to the grasslands. Let's tuck a let's tuck the peregrine falcon to lay the bird. Roll the dice. No bird. And that's it. So as you can see. Ah, so close. Once you start getting your mechanics going, that's why you have less and less turns every round. So if I had like four birds already in this up here, I not only gain food from the feeder, but I can then tuck a bird behind here to get an extra point in the end of the game to lay an egg on here, which is helpful. So then roll all the dice not in the feeder to gain food to then 
play something to play something. Let's do... Okay, let's play the Hooded Warbler. Yeah, let's play the Hooded Warbler here. Let's play it. That's fine, because I just need to start laying eggs next round. But I need food to start laying eggs in the last round. left, all gain, food, that's fine. Let's start laying eggs. Up here. Let's sacrifice some food to lay another egg up here. Let's move you down there. Because I can just do that to get birds. Screw yourself over. Uh, let's just try to go stuff. I need that. I need that. I want that. Let's tuck the golden eagle behind there to lay an egg there. I actually cashed it for once. That's good. I don't think I'm going to win this one. I'm just going to be upfront about it. I'm not going to win this one. But that's fine. I mean, not even on points. Two birds with one round left. I don't know. I know. Uh, yeah, I'm just. Yeah. Unless I can get. Unless I've got a bird that does grain and fish, which I don't. Let's go for points. Go points and yeah. Yeah, I've not won this round. Yeah, so I get zero points. So let's see where I rank. On here then. That's not too bad so far. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was what's called a loss. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh, actually, I'm going to do something different. I'm quickly going to settings and change it for every bird that's played. So let's hear a bit about the birds. And yeah, let's hear a bit about the birds every time we play them. Custom game. Yep, 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 yep. Turn order or shuffled. Try this again. Let's 
So the goals are so far birds, uh, eggs in nests, eggs in the water, total amount of birds, and birds in the shrubland. Uh, the bonuses are birds that can only live in the shrubland and birds that eat fish. So let's try go for. Ooh! Okay, let's do the magpie and the goldfinch. Let's get birds that can only live there, because I can do that straight away. And let's get a grub, a grain, and berry. For now. And let's see what happens. First things first, I'm going to play the magpie, because whenever someone else does a, uh, a predator move, it's called predator move, basically where a, a bird rolls all the food and sees what they get, I get to gain one, which is just helpful for the long run, so it's one of the ones you can try and play early if you've got it. So let's play that. Black-billed magpie. These omnivores steal eggs and eat carrion along with a diversity of other foods. Good to know. Um, let's gain that grain so I can play my goldfinch after I've laid eggs. go succeeded so I can get something from here um, interestingly a mechanic I've not said before if you've got matching grain matching dice type in the bird feeder you can re-roll for free which is very helpful I did it once where I played a bird where I get a copy of every grain in the bird feeder uh, and I played it start so there's only one left we rolled it there was five grains so I instantly got five grain which really helped me out uh, I actually kind of want that flea bird while I'm thinking about it though I really want that kestrel as well this if you want the the, the epitome of putting all your eggs in one basket this is literally what I'm doing right now that's right now okay. and again See, so I'll re-roll it, and I'll get a berry. It's helpful to have a berry. Um, my experience, a lot of the birds have grains and grubs, so that's always the ones you want to grab for straight away. Let's... Ooh! You know what? That's a tasty little combo there. Let's... So some birds, you can play another bird in the same place for the normal cost. So you can get, like, play two birds for one round, which is very helpful. That's got grub and... Looks like I've got no grubs. Can I get a grub from up here quickly? Yes, I can. I'm going to grab that grub. Because I want to try and play... the first round so I don't have enough eggs. But I can start getting all the eggs I need. Wilson Snipe getting a third. Oh, Baldy. Okay, right. Let's see if I can do this right. Okay. Play the bluebird first. Spend the Bluebirds struggle to breed where there is a lack of tree cavities. Nest boxes help. And let's play the Kestrel. 
American Kestrel. Kestrels track rodents by their urine and will cache surplus kills for later. I lost the first round, that's no surprise. If I actually kept my eggs, it would have got me second place. Alright, so. I can play the crow there. I kind of want to... I need eggs in the water, so... You know what? I need eggs. Okay, I need eggs. I actually need food and eggs. Oh, I see this is a tail. I see this is a tail fly catcher. Yes, I am grabbing you. I don't think I've ever actually played this as a tail fly catcher before. So this is probably one of these games where just having the music in the background is better without actually speaking, but I'm thinking about it. Get to the bird. Ferruginous hawk. These rust-colored birds sometimes hunt in groups in prairie dog towns. Let's get a... Let's get a grain. Let's just play a lot of eggs here. Get a point on that bird. Get a point on that bird. That's infinitely more successful than I was in real life, actually. Right. Can I get a grub? There's a grub. Okay, I have a plan now. <laughs> I had a plan before, but I... I mucked my own plan up. I may play a bird on a bird where there is nests. I did not have a bird on a bird where there is nests. That is a bird, the bird with the nests. Let's play the... Let's play the woodpecker. Downy woodpecker. This little woodpecker frequently joins mixed flocks. And then let's put the eastern kingbird. At the cost of one egg. <laughs> Eastern Kingbird. The Kingbird displays its orange crown while defending its territory. So now, every time someone plays a bird in the green, I get a grub. Which I don't imagine they ever do. But it's always good to have that option. Once I play my scissor tail flycatcher, 
then I finish my bonus card, which gets me 8 points. Scissor-tailed flycatcher. The mating display of these birds involves aerial acrobatics that show off the long tail. American Crow. These intelligent birds steal eggs and food from other birds and cache food for later. You're right, Gregory. This is so relaxing. And it's, it's, the soundtrack itself like, is one of the most relaxing I've heard for a while. Because just it's not... It's just the same music over and over again. Every now and then, like you play a bird, you hear the bird on top of it. It's just... If they just sold the soundtrack, if they just sold the soundtrack, I'd be very, very happy right now. Wait, is that the turkey vultures sound? Possibly. 
Oh, uh, let's get a good fish. That might be a challenge right now. I'm not good to get energy. If we're playing those who score six games. Bald Eagle. Bald Eagle steal yes. fish. Ben Franklin thought this was a bad choice fish. for the U.S. national bird. I play the national bird of the, of the USA. Do you know what the national animal for Scotland is? A unicorn. You had a chance, America. You could have chosen any animal. You chose a bird. Whale, whales chose a dragon. Okay, lay a bird. I haven't got a bird to play on. Let's play a falcon. Let's spend that. <laughs> play that peregrine quite falcon. Diving to attack. A peregrine falcon can reach speeds up to 200 miles per hour. That's what you want. 200 mile an hour bird. We'll draw one from the deck. Red-tailed hawk. Movies almost always use the red-tailed hawk's call for any raptor. I can't remember exactly, but I'm sure someone. I'm sure this is true because it was on a BGT forum. Uh, the, the, the the person who created this had basically used like an Excel spreadsheet of like the cost, habitat, bird, everything, and when in quickly edited it when it needed to. Like, okay, let's play eggs. Let's put two eggs there, two eggs there. Let's spend a grain to place another egg there. Everyone gets one of the supply. No caching, no caching, that's fine. So your end game totals are based on how many cards you have tucked, how many uh, cat food you have cashed, your bonus points, and the points of the extra card, and any bonus points you get from your bonus cards. You get nothing for how many eggs you have, but you get nothing for the amount of food. So there are some birds where it's like you pay food to cash cards from the supply, which is like really good, especially late game. But, please say I've got over 60 on my birds. I want over 60 on my birds. Ah! Damn it. 54. But I won this round by the looks of it. Yay! 85. I'm good with that. I'm so. I've ripped. There's an achievement. I'm not an achievement hunter normally, but there's an achievement for playing 60 on just birds. And I really want to just play birds and get it. I'm going to do one more game, because I've been doing this for nearly an hour. And then I can eat, because I do need to eat something today. Maybe. So, same birds. If there was more people online playing this, Play it online more, but there's there's not, and there's too many disconnect things all the time. Although if I did it as like a I'm just playing a game, and people can chat. It's five minute turns, aren't too bad. Okay, right. So 
First round scoring is birds with nests with eggs in them. Second round is eggs in the forest. Third is birds with cup nests with eggs in them. And the fourth one is clutches with birds with eggs in them. Okay. Of which... Okay. That's not bad. Uh, what are my bonus cards? Birds in the hand at the end of the game. Yes, I am taking that. No, I'm not. Birds that eat rodents. Let's take that. Because it's two per bird. Oh, I might screw myself over. Okay. Let's take the... Let's take a coot. No, it's not take a coot. Let's take the white crown sparrow. And let's take the kingfisher. Let's take that, that, and that. And then try something. So... So the Bellwood Kingfisher it can count for all, any of my scores going forward, that's fine. My White Crown Sparrow will only go for the end game, but if I play it here now, White that Crown costs, Sparrow. These sparrows like shrubby then areas I can move in it many habitats I can get from tundra from to desert. So then play my Kingfisher down here at some point. Because that might help me out. It can move. It can move stuff around early game, so I can get stuff. I just need to pay for it, which is a problem. Okay, right. Let's get the. Let's go grub. Because I can, and let's move you down here. So if there's any of the birds I can get, I'll grab them while they're down. We'll see. Clays need nests, cups, or whatever. Okay, let's get the. Let's get the. Let's get the nut hatch. And let's move you there. Belted Kingfisher. The Kingfisher burrow can go up to six feet into a riverbank and slopes to shed water. Nice. Got a fish from the supply. Always helpful. Let's put two eggs there and move you up to. Crested nuthatch. Nuthatches cache seeds for winter in the bark of a tree. Supply, yeah, okay. And that 
let's gain that yellow belly cook uh, yellow bellied cuckoo and I have a feeling I might need that. Yellow-billed cuckoo. Yellow-billed cuckoos lay their eggs in other birds' nests when food is abundant. So, because I've got a star bird, I can play that there. So now, on the right last round before we get scored, I have four eggs. Seems like three points. Which then also means I can play my common nighthawk there. Common nighthawk. Nighthawks are crepuscular, hunting flying insects at dawn. Okay, and so dusk. the if you click on it, that's how you track your bonus scores. So, like a lot of the really common ones, like um, hang on, let's see, this goes good, but I can actually see what I'm doing. Ah, uh, it's too many things happening. Ah, uh, I don't know if I should put it down. Okay, so your bonus scores. Um, when you're tracking it. So the easiest ones are like how many eggs are in the forest. You just look on like the bottom of here, you know, you got how many eggs the bird can have. So I've got four on that bird. It moved up to the forest, so I have four in the forest, which means four on there. Um, at the end of every round, as you can see, if you've got two people tied, two players that are tied, the score is halved by the amount. The score is halved, so uh, because there was two people in first place, it's halved and rounded up to three. Uh, the next round, uh, I have to get total number of birds with at least one egg in a cup nest. Uh, I only have one bird, which is my star. So the types of nests, uh, I'll show you. You've got your clutch nests, you've got your normal nests, you've got your tree nests. Um, uh, you got your cup ones, and you've also got your stars. Your stars are every nest. Uh, not all birds have a nest, which is sometimes interesting. Um, so that's how you can track it. Um, when you're playing it in person, it's very interesting to try and track it. 
like you get a do they actually show it here yes so this is basically what it looks like in real life near enough yeah near enough what it looks like in real life um, you track your plane like that so that's how you track it in real life uh, in the game it, it's a lot easier it just tracks it for you up here and it gives you a round by round breakdown uh, it also tells you your total score at the bottom which is also kind of helpful um, when playing in real life, the, there's an optional rule on most of Stonemaier games where you have a time limit to do your turn, and if you like, if you don't do your turn within like 30 seconds, you lose points. Um, so some games like Scythe, I might try and download Scythe and play that another day. There are some ones where if you're trying to gauge, like you, Scythe is so, like this one, like you've got a number of turns to work out what you're going to do. But there are some where it's like, you haven't done this. Like, if you're trying to, like, work out your points by the end of the game while you're still playing, it, it try and, they basically try and stop you from doing that. Um, basically. Okay, right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get... Let's re-roll the grains. Let's get that, and let's get another grain, because I can that now has to move to here. This is important. Okay, let's get one of them supply and cash it. Okay. So, yeah, it's the. I. With. With my way of playing. Wingspan, at least, is. I. Tr oh, can I play one on a star anywhere? Um, with me when I'm playing, yeah, no worries. Um, enjoy the trip, safe travels. Uh, with me when I'm playing Wingspan, I try to either look at, try to work on like what my bonus points points are, which I'm ignoring this round, or I look ahead. So, for example, when I when all the birds opened up, I had a lot of birds with clutches. Therefore, I need to start working to get clutches for the end of the game. Um, birds with stars, I grab them as soon as I can because they really help. Um, so let's play my Wilson Snipe here and pay one from my clutch supply there. Wilson Snipe. Snipes can fly up to 60 miles per hour. Good snipers can shoot them. <laughs> yeah, that fun. Um, so I have three rounds left. An egg, but I can't play an egg. I can gain a supply. I will take that. Okay, right. Let's be sneaky. Let's grab a gull and a robin. Let's draw one from the deck. Okay, that's fine. I have to play the robin. anyone giving me anything? I can't play, that's fine. Okay, let's play. Let's play my Robin up here to that. And let's take one from that supply. American Robin. Robins have been known to roost in groups of a hundred thousand or more. That tea's cold now. <laughs> okay, so I still have one round left. And I just need to have a lot of eggs everywhere. So. Oh, interesting. So I can play that one up there. That's fine. Okay. I get supply. That's helpful. So. Let's play three eggs. Two there. Let's start working these up. One there. Let's move you up there. Let's move you up there. The bird playing birds to the right of all the birds, if you can get three of them in a row, I just love it because you can use move, move them around really quickly. Um, 
It also gets you more eggs. Or points into the game. Like, what you want to do is, like, what I try to do is play your bird to the right for free, move them, play them again in the same one and move them, and then you're not paying eggs. Um, so I want to get... I want to pay my mountain bluebird and my fountain skull. So let's do that. I need... I got my fish. I got my... I need grub. Let's get my grub. I also need another fish. And let's get another rodent. Because I can exchange them. Let's move them down to the water. Them down to the water. Ah, uh, let's tuck the gold. Yes, the American woodcock will do nicely for now. And get more supply. No, it won't do nicely for now. Bugger. <laughs> well, that screwed me over. Well, I screwed myself over for a bit, so that's going to be fine. Okay, let's play in a brag. I can't play an egg anywhere. Can I? No, I can't. I can. Yeah, I can. There we go. Okay, right. So I need to put my woodcock there, but I need more eggs. So let's go here. Game. Two from supply. One this happens to be a California quail. Let's get another one from there as well. Let's move you up there. Let's move you up there. You can draw one from the deck. And that's fine. So... I might just start laying eggs. I need to play them to play eggs. Okay, right. You can go up there. Play an egg there. Okay. So I need... down to the water. Let's move you down to the water. Let's tuck the warbler. And let's choose chat. And let's do that. Okay. I didn't do what I wanted to do, but I might be able to do something else that I want to do. Easier. It will make sense in a minute. So I have the Mountain Bluebird, which... Okay, I haven't got any more eggs to play there anymore, I don't think. Yeah, so I can't play. Can I get more supply? That's helpful. Okay, right. I can play my Mountain Bluebird. I can pay it for free. Mountain Bluebird. These birds can be found from prairies up to alpine zones above treeline. And let's play my Woodcock. American Woodcock. The Woodcock's amazing mating display involves repeated dives from 300 feet. So, I've got an egg in that one, an egg in that one. I've got four eggs there to go with this bonus total. And I've got none there anyway. So what I need to do is play... Well, I can play that one, so let's go that one there to get some more eggs in anyway. So let's see how that went. I've got 16 eggs and 5 bonus ones. Okay, so I get 7 bonus points. So I've got 7, 10, 15 bonus points. So, amount of birds. I got 35. I didn't get any from my bonus points. I got 15 from my end of round goals. 16 points for my eggs. Uh, 5 from being tucked. Food and. Oh, yes! 5 from. Yeah. That's not a bad round score. I will take that. Um, 
So this also preserves all the scores you ever did. Um, so most of mine are all... Most of mine that I always play is the blue one. So I lost that one because I was the Puffin. I lost that one because I was the Puffin. I lost that one. <laughs> Lost that one, lost that one. I lose more often than I win, to be honest. But that's fine. The online ones, I won that one. No, lost that one, lost that one. Lost that one. But... I like them. But yeah, this is the game. And that's about an hour. I need to eat now. So... I'm gonna eat. I might download Scythe as well, and I'll do a version of Scythe, because I haven't really listened to Scythe's music before. It's not relaxing, it's a war game. Um, yeah, there's Wingspan. Here is Wingspan. I would fully encourage you to go out and buy the board game version of it from your friendly local board game store. Um, this, it's You will not regret buying it. It's a really good game. There is also a single-player version. like There's a legacy single-player version mechanic in it, I think, which is just really good to play with. It's also very good and relaxing to play with friends. Um, if you do play it in the single with like in real life, uh, try and get Mellow Dice, which is like an app website. It's a website that basically has a playlist of music designed for these different board games. Um, another one to play in real life is Viticulture, where you can make wine. So, but with that, I'm gonna get some food. Thank you all for joining. I'll do this again sometime, probably tomorrow. Definitely be tomorrow and anyway. Um and yeah. If you want me to do a version of this one just playing the music in the background, I will do that. But until then, thank you all for coming, and I will see you around at some point. Bye!